I'm Glenn Everett, Master of Machines. This episode, we check out this spectacular 1956 Ford F-Series restoration and speak to Des about the history behind the build that's dedicated to his father, brother and cousin, who sadly and tragically lost their lives in 1959. Great to see you, Des. Tell us about this magnificent 1956 F600 Ford truck of yours. It looks amazing. Where did it all begin? It all began in uh, 1959 when my father was tragically killed and I was um, hurt by the, his death, the passing of my brother and my cousin. Uh, I was only a school kid at the time, so I always wanted to restore one when I get an older age. So with my job, my trade, sign writing and spray painting, uh, ten years ago, I uh, sourced out a couple of trucks and I got in the job to restore them for the, for the memory of my father. So, how long did the restoration take? Was it a ground up build? The restoration took uh, 18 months. And I did take it down to the chassis and it was stripped completely. And nearly a concourse job actually, with the work we put into it. The uh, interior of the truck is as, as was brand new. Apart from it, it's got door trims on the on the doors. We've got the seats all done and the uh, Having done to make it the same as my father's. Where did it come from originally and what was it like when you got it? The truck came from Yam, Maine and Coolman on a farm. It was in pretty bad condition. It had been an ex-farm truck and it was rusted out. It wasn't very much, I didn't pay much money for it. So it was the best one we could find at the time so we brought back and started on it. How did you go with parts for the restoration? I had to source parts and I got on to a couple of F100 boys. They told me where to get parts from because of the same cabin and I got them through to Lincoln and Melbourne because this truck had to be made the same as the specifications as my father had it as he was, when he was killed because he had a big 36 foot trailer towing a load of cattle and sheep and wool so he had to have a bit bigger engine and gearbox to suit to do the, do the job. What were the Y block engines like in these trucks back in the day? They are a very good engine now, Y block V8. They were 272 to 292 and they were a very, very popular engine. So were these effectively the same engines used in the Ford car range in the day? It's, it was the same engine in the custom line and the Ford truck had the same engine, but the truck had a bigger gearbox with the five-speed or four-speed gearbox, the two-speed diff and a bigger drive line for the heavy weights that it could pull because they had to pull 16 tonne when they were fully loaded, a semi-trailer. When you think about it, it is incredible that they'd run that same engine through the entire line of vehicles, passenger and commercial. There's, is this red a factory colour? It looks amazing. And it was a uh, torch red and you could only buy red, green and white as a commercial range back then. The sign writing on the door was done by myself. I hand, hand painted it and it was done exactly the same as my father's was done. Uh, and it was done, all done by hand and not by stickers. And it's done the way it was back in that era. Is the truck 100% factory spec? Did you do any upgrades at all? It is 100% bar the carburetor was changed the bigger weights the old man had, the bigger semi-trailer, and it had a five-speed gearbox put in, a Clark five-speed gearbox, which was still in the later model Ford truck. Fuel tanks were changed because they uh, had 44-gallon drums. Back in them days, I put aluminium tanks on. I really love how they resemble the smaller F-Series range, like the pickup of the same year. It's the same cabin as the F-100. That's why it's so easy to get parts for like windscreens and rubbers and door, all the bonnets and so forth. Only thing that's different is the mud guards on the front, which is the bigger wheel, bigger wheels for the bigger wheel openings. And that's the only difference there is, a plus bigger chassis rails and so forth, yeah. Oh, it's an amazing build. I've got to say, Des, I'm a die-hard car fan, but when I saw this truck, it was love at first sight for me. I'd imagine as a young boy, you'd have some pretty fond memories of riding in your dad's truck back in the day. Well, I used to enjoy uh, travelling with my fa father and my brother, because he used to always go with him, he was a driver at the end. But then, uh, they were a good company, they used to go along, I loved being in trucks and going to all the places we used to go to, farms to load the sheep, wool or uh, super. But I was only a school kid still at the time, but I uh, loved going in the truck. Des, I believe you have a passion for motorsport too, you've done some racing many years ago in a Mustang, tell us about that. Back in 980, where the Penix J revival started, I uh, restored a Ford Mustang and I raced it on the tar tracks like Oran Park, Amaru Park, S Sandown and all those places and I had a lot of success, 21 wins actually. Ford was a pretty good truck, even here in America, they did a mighty job. They carted up to 16 to 17 to 18 tonnes. 
don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell, as we have a lot more awesome content coming your way. Right, I, I go out a fair bit in this uh, truck, and on club runs and uh, shows. So we get every couple, two or three weeks, we get out and run, and we uh, go everywhere, shows, and down the streets, and coffee runs, and so forth. Yeah, enjoy it. The performance is good for a truck, but it's not a, not a car performance, but it's uh, very nice on smooth roads. Some uh, roads are it's, it's a bit rough, it bounces around a bit because there's no trail on the back. We put the tyres down for that reason to try and you know, make it smoother. It, it, it performs pretty good actually, for what it is, 60 year old. The wide block motors are a pretty good engine, they were very good engines back in their day. And they're uh, pretty hard to get parts for now because they're very scarce because the later model V8s have all come out in Fords, but you still can get them through source around places to get them. Gearbox is a five speed uh, Clark with a two speed diff, but the gear gearbox is a very low first gear for pulling big weights out of a uh, near stop corner, but uh, it goes well actually. It's a good, good gearbox, very strong. It's a crash gearbox, you get a double clutch when you're geared, James. His father uses a, was a, he was a general transporter, he used stock all different cattle, sheep, whatever, and then livestock, and he used wool, and then uh, card super, and then fuel too, fuel drums, to cockies, all the cockies out around our area. These were a very common truck back in the, in the 50s. They were all poor man's truck, really. They were, they were, they'd done a good job for what they were. The biggest competitors were internationals and the bigger, bigger grade, the big 180 internationals and the, uh, in the, in the Max, the Mac. Mac. They were, they were big for the road train work and the real big heavy work. But uh, these were very, very, very good truck of the day for, the, for their value, for their money. They'd done pretty tough to be drivers back in them days because there was no air conditioning and, and there was no, the roads were terribly rough compared to nowadays. It's, they're rough enough now. But they were um, done pretty hard, I can tell you, with a, with a smaller engine and compared to the modern day trucks of nowadays. So they did, they did it very hard, actually. It was a tough life back, back in that era and a uh, Ford was a pretty good truck, even here in America, they did a mighty job. They, they were designed for really a tray truck for starter, and then they, uh, it, then if you want to up the grade what Dad did with the gearbox and so forth to run a, a large semi-trailer, or 36 foot trailer. That's what they done, a single axle trailer, and they carted up to 16 to 17 and 18 tonne. Oh, I just enjoy uh, Travelling with my father and brother, because they, they, you know, we're going to Melbourne and Albury and all the big trips we used to do. <coughs> and I used to sit in the middle and start singing songs to them to keep them awake, because the Wallaces weren't real good them days. And uh, you know, I used to love it, they would go with them. And, uh, and there was a good, the old truck was pretty comfortable with a, a big bench seat, got And I was only 10 or 11 year old at the time, so I um, enjoyed going with them. And they were, you know, good company, actually. And my big brother, he was a bit of a show off. He loved his trucks. He loved his, plus, he used to love the V8 sound. So I think my father would be pretty proud of me, what, what, what I've done with the truck. Because uh, he's a pretty proud man, he was. So, uh, and, and I'll go a lot of shows and they all re repeat that. But, but your father would be looking down on you and saying, you're pretty proud of uh, what you've done. Even my brother, like he was a man with a lot just to like his trucks looking shiny and so forth. So I think they're all both up there uh, looking down at me, which I, I, I take that to heart pretty well, so it's good, yeah.